there. Another nice little fat female. She's not too long, but she's definitely fat. She's about to lay. Today's episode is sponsored by Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Outfit Outdoors. All right, guys, Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Let me show you what we're running with today. So I got my little day box here. Just basically take everything that I'm gonna use that day instead of hauling all my tackle around. But what we're doing is throwing these live magic shads. There's different styles and different colors here. Uh, like I talked about in the last video, you saw me catching smallmouth on one of these. But the segments on these are crazy and that's what puts off so much action. This one here is a split tail. We got another split tail in a different color, green pumpkin and pearl white. Then the one that I like that I'm catching the fish on is the sickle tail. Hope you guys can see that, but that tail gives off a lot of action. And then I also have a bigger uh, split fork tail right here. Now this one here, I will probably rig this up Carolina style because this one's heavier. So I want this one all the way at the bottom. Uh, the sickle tail, right now I'm using it, I'm throwing it out weedless and weightless and just reeling it in slow. Now one of the things that you could do with this, honestly, I'm sitting at the mouth of another uh, river that comes into the Mississippi. The Mississippi is right there, so this current is moving pretty decent. It's not fast, but it's not slow. So one of the things you could do is cast it out that way and just let it flow down. Now I can see that there's a fish up on top of the water over here. I don't know what it's doing, but when you do that, this magic shad is basically going to sit a few inches under the water and it's going to be rolling around and that tail is going to be kicking and it's basically going to look like a dying shad. So like I said, if you just reel it in real nice and slow, this is going to stay about a foot or two under the surface. Now with that, you might have a tendency to catch smaller fish. Which to me is okay because I'm not here for quality. The bigger fish right now are down lower. Watched him come out and snag it. Well, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I don't know if the camera was wide enough to catch that. But I just hooked one right in front of us. I got him up in the air on shore and he broke the line and swam off with the rig. So I'll show you here real quick another way that I'm going to rig these up. All right, so I'm going to stick with the sickle tail because that's what's working for me. And right now I'm going to use a wide gap mushroom head jig with a screw lock on it. Now you want to use the screw locks because you want this to be able to be weedless. And if you just use a regular jig head, you really can't make it too weedless. There's a lot of snags up here that I don't want to get on. So I'm just going to screw it on and get it sitting right. And there we go. That's what we're going to do. Now this way, we sh will be able to cast it farther for one, but also it's going to be lower in the water column, so we should be able to catch some bigger fish on this one. Now, if you didn't see my last video when I was using Lake Fork Trophy Lures, um, these things are really nice, A, because of the segments and the action, but also because all of their lures, all their soft plastics, 
are scented with garlic so much it's unbelievable um you know i i wish you guys could smell this because it's crazy and i think that has a lot to do with why i'm getting so many fish on these here there's another one right here in front of us This guy followed it. I saw him coming in. Come here. All right, guys. Not a great fish, but not a bad start. Right there on the live magic shad rigged up on a mushroom head jig head. Now, this is proof that you need to fish all the way up to the shoreline when you're fishing like this because he took it about six feet out and another one I I watched him follow it as I was just reeling it in I watched him follow it in and then he just grabbed it there's another one there's a better one Let's see if he'll come up for it nice little bit better than the last one. At least he feels like it. Not gonna weigh him or anything. It's definitely not a four pounder. Ooh, he's got that hook weird. Off he goes. So it looks like the uh, the jig head is definitely working. Um, you know that's the second fish on this one here, and it's still holding up pretty good. I'll leave a price down in the description box for these where you can get them at and the link and everything. <laughs> Didn't even know he was on, but I got him. Fish number three. He didn't even bite. He just kind of swallowed it and followed it. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I didn't have a good hook set on him. Like I said, guys, I didn't know he was on there. He just kind of swallowed it and swam towards me. So, didn't even feel him. Not a big deal. There he is. I got him. Now look at how big this guy is here. I mean, that's a monster. He would definitely be some good fish bait. I was messing around with him for a few minutes, throwing the, the jig in front of him, and he finally took it. Just grabbed right onto it. Nice. Now guys, don't limit this to one or two styles of fishing. You know, you can pretty much fish this any way except for drop shot. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to switch back to weightless and weedless here in a minute. Just because the bite kind of slowed down on this jig head. Uh, but you can drop shot it. You can uh, Carolina rig it, Texas rig it. Use it on a jig head. Like I said, just about anything except for a wacky rig. There's a fish. Maybe not. There he is. He took it back. a little better. Get her in here. Now she hit it. And I went to set the hook and I missed it. So then I just let it sit there for a second and she picked it right back up and took off with it. 
Another nice little fat female. She's not too long, but she's definitely fat. She's about to lay. There's another one. Oh, this is a better one, guys. Once again, he hit it, so I just paused, and then he took off with it. Better fish. Can't even see him yet. There he is. There is another hog, just like we were catching the other day, guys. Check that out. This is what makes me really happy. Now, what I was talking about earlier to see if they were eating the crawfish. If you look right inside of his mouth there, you can see a bunch of red dyed spots. That tells me that they're picking up those crawfish. You can see right there on his lips too that it's red a little bit and that's from rubbing into the gravel trying to get them. We're going to get a picture and get a weight on this guy. He is just over, just about three and a quarter pounds. Nice fish. fishing this right on the drop off of a point. And uh, you know right here in front of me it's only about a foot deep. But then right about here it gets to about three feet and then a couple more feet out it drops off completely down to about twelve feet. So I'm fishing right on that drop off all the way across and out that way. There's other ones that are coming in. That's where, that's where most of these fish have been, is right on the edge of the drop-off. Well guys, click the subscribe button down below for me please if you don't mind. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing videos every week now that it's nice out again. Uh, Going to be going through a lot of different baits, a lot of different companies. And also, if you don't mind, download this app right here, the Outfit Outdoors app. Uh, it's basically like Instagram, but it's completely outdoors. You got hunting and fishing and everything. It's an awesome app. I have a video talking about it. Go over and watch that. Thank you guys very much for watching today. Go check out Lake Fork Trophy Lures if you haven't seen them yet. Get some of these magic shads. Go out and catch yourself some big smallies like this. Thanks, guys.